Manila City volunteers provide building materials and financial aid to affected families in Batangas. A 13-year-old boy in China promotes vegetarianism despite his weak body condition. Welcome to Die Headlines, I'm Maggie Tai. Thank you for joining us. In January, a volcano in the Philippines erupted and more than 50,000 people were evacuated. Since many houses were destroyed, Manila City volunteers went to Batangas to provide the affected residents with construction materials and 300 US dollars in financial aid. Many residents expressed their gratitude for Tsiji. Ayong Lindol. May at maya ang lindol, halos segundo ay eh, lindol. Itong aming ito ay hindi namin akalaing magkaganito. Ang inaasahala namin sana yung sira ng bahay. A month after the tall volcano eruption, Violeta's house is about to fall apart, so she built a temporary shelter on top of a pig pen. I feel very depressed about rebuilding my home, especially because we are extremely poor. Another family is also having a hard time. The home except the garage has collapsed. It is painful to be homeless. The garage is filled with the volcano dust. We have no choice but to enjoy it. Feeling for the affected residents, city volunteers have provided construction materials and financial aid, giving hope to them. Siji has given us cabinets and stuff, as well as 300 US dollars in financial aid. I pray to God every day for God to have mercy on us. You have come and given us much help. The COVID-19 epidemic has spread to 57 countries as of date. Therefore, the World Health Organization raised the global COVID-19 risk to its highest level on February 28th. The Comfort People's Hearts Siji recently started a global prayer chain. The students at the Siji Kindergarten in Panama, Malaysia pray at school and also at home. Their parents also pray every day sincerely, hoping that the epidemic can be eased soon internationally. The new coronavirus epidemic is still spreading, so Tsiji started a global prayer chain. The students of the Tsiji kindergarten in Penang and their parents do it at home. When we don't have anything to do, we can use this. Since there's nothing we can do, all we can do is use our sincere minds to gather this good thought and pray for these patients and also these medical staff who have been working very hard behind the scene. This is positive energy. If more people can pray, the energy will become more powerful. Every sincere prayer will become the blessing of love. People pray that this epidemic will soon die down and everyone remains healthy. By the end of February, many cities in China have resumed working, but the government still does not encourage the residents to go out. In Changsha, Hunan, city volunteers continue to prepare virus prevention supplies for medical professionals. This way they can serve at the hospital without too much worries. In Changsha, Hunan, after people resume working, vehicles have appeared on the streets again, though the traffic is not as busy as before. The wholesale market, which was really crowded in the past, is now with few customers. 
现在过过过多吗？不多。损失比较多吧。他肯定有不？还是损失肯定有的不？他没人了。To fight the epidemic, the government does not encourage people to go out. However, these volunteers in blue and white uniform are still busy serving the public. They are organizing aid supplies for the medical professionals in front of a warehouse at a logistic company. This is protective clothing. There is a set. It's got protective goggles, a N91 mask, and a pair of protective gloves and shoe covers. So this is a set. The volunteers carefully package the supplies according to the hospital's needs. Peng Yin, whose hometown has received this help in the past, has also come help out. I am grateful that Cixi volunteers have supported my hometown, as well as other parts of the world. Wearing masks and protecting ourselves, we can come out and join this packing activity. The medical staff are epidemic fighters at the front line. You are their support. Thank you. This time, as many as 17 hospitals have asked for aid supplies. The volunteers cannot deliver all of them. Some of the supplies will be delivered by the post, while others will be picked up by the hospitals. Everyone works as a team so that the supplies will be sent to the hospitals as soon as possible. Thank you very much. We are doing fine. We have a lot of patients. All of our patients have tumors or leukemia. They cannot wait. So the wards are full. There are a lot of people, and I am quite worried. Okay, guys. Shandong Ziji volunteers have been caring for seniors in a nursing home for a long time. Recently, an affiliate of the nursing home, a hospital, is dispatching a medical team to Hubei. Therefore, they asked Ziji for emergency supplies for epidemic prevention. Upon learning of their needs, the volunteer quickly delivered the supplies to the hospital. PKU Care Luzhou Hospital is dispatching a medical team to go assist patients in Hubei. Before they take off, local city volunteers have delivered supplies for epidemic prevention. Since the epidemic outbreak, our hospital has been short on supplies for epidemic prevention. Today, Cixi Foundation is supporting us wholeheartedly. On behalf of the hospital staff, I want to express my gratitude for you. Ziji formed affinities with this hospital because Ziji volunteers have been visiting their affiliate organization, a nursing home. The volunteers seized this opportunity to go to the nursing home. This is a special period. We cannot enter the nursing home to care for the seniors, so we provided a different kind of help to them. This is what it means to care for them. So the volunteers are doing what they can to help the medical professionals while fight the epidemic on the front lines. A determined 13-year-old in China's Jiangsu, Chen Jianan, has craniopharyngeal. He has been often sick but has a huge wish. He has been promoting vegetarianism since he was younger. He is very smart and memorizes all the facts about vegetarianism to help his cause. His father even makes videos of him reciting the facts to help his vegetarian campaign. Let's meet this adorable boy. At such a young age, Chen Jianan is practically a walking encyclopedia filled with knowledge. What will happen if humans continue to eat meat? First of all, it would decertify fertile soil. Second of all, 40% of the world's grain are used to feed the livestock. Third of all, a large amount of water resources is used. 
An example is 1 kg of potato uses up 100 liters of water. But 1 kg of meat uses up 15,500 liters of water. Which means the water usage for 1 kg of meat is 155 times more than 1 kg of potato. Chen is not reading from a prompter but has memorized the stats. He has a rare brain tumor and has been sick since young, but he keeps to a vegetarian diet to gain inner strength. My family is vegetarian. My grandfather has been vegetarian for 10 years. My brother has been for one year. I have been a vegetarian for eight years. Well, my father has been six and my mother three. Next, I want to introduce our vegetarian meal. This dish is red potato ball, spring roll with shepherd's purse, pea leaf, tofu veggie soup, and a rich blossoming dish. Actually, I have two cranial operations, and in the recovery period, I ate vegetarian meals to regain my health and supplement my nutrients. To this day, I'm still very healthy. Originally, they lived in Quinshan, Jiangsu, but due to the COVID-19 outbreak, the family moved back to their ancestral home in Nantong, away from the disease. Chen's younger brother has long grown taller than him. Due to Chen's condition, his vision is impaired. Thus, his younger brother and him work together to make dumplings. There are no cholesterol worries in vegetarianism. There are only 4 grams of lipids in vegetarian food, while meat dishes can be as high as 36 grams. Protein in meats and vegetables are about the same in value, with only about 1 gram of difference. While beta carotene is near 30,000 micrograms in a vegetarian dish, compared to 17 micrograms in a meat dish, you can receive vitamin B12 through fermented dishes and organic root vegetables. These videos were filmed by Chen's father as a way to spread kindness and wisdom. If you ask me why I want to be a vegetarian, my reply is, being kind to animals is being kind to myself. We don't want to have a third epidemic. Yes, we don't want that. And to prevent that from happening, the best way is to eat vegetables and promote vegetarianism. Everyone join me in being healthy by adopting a vegetarian diet. I pray for the health of the medical staff and also everyone else. May we live in a world free from disaster year after year. Thank you for watching. The family of mine, Kunshan, has been eating vegetarian diets for six years. Recently, many stores were closed due to the epidemic. However, they got their own garden on the rooftop to sustain themselves. Every time the wife cooked a vegetarian dish, she posted a picture on social media and received many likes. Together, the family hopes to share the benefits of vegetarian diets with more people online. Due to the spreading epidemic, the street is empty and the market are all closed. This couple was not worried about nowhere to buy vegetables because they got a garden in their house. I live on the 11th floor and there happened to be a space on the rooftop, so I put some earth and planted some vegetables. The husband picked up the vegetables and the wife cooked the dishes. The family has been adopting a vegetarian diet for six years. When I first joined Ziji, my daughter was only in kindergarten. She had learned about the benefits of a vegetarian diet in the summer camp and how painful the animals suffer being slaughtered. She has become a vegetarian with me since then. My children's heights and weights are all normal, and they're considered the taller ones in class. As soon as the dishes are ready to serve, the chef's first task is to take pictures and post them on social media. We want to bring more people to enjoy vegetarian foods. In fact, every time I post a picture, many people ask me how it was made. Like this person just told me the food looks great after I post it. 
People's encouragement is their power to continue to promote vegetarianism. This family has taken action to fight the epidemic. Siji officially signed an MOU with Dai County government and hopes to work together on charity, environmental protection, humanistic culture, as well as disaster preventions in the future, so that Dai County residents can have a lovely a pleasant homeland. On the day of the signing ceremony, Hua Lian Jingze Boat also prepared tea tree alcohol for local elementary school students to fight the virus as they are starting their school sessions now. To build a pleasant city to live, Siji officially signed an MOU with Jai County government. Considering the school is in session, Hualian Jingzebo also delivered 300 liters of tea tree alcohol to help prevent the spread of virus. We can see Siji at the front line of every place where there are disasters. Today, we are here to sign the MOU. As we give thanks to Ziji's devotion to society, we are also grateful for the tea tree alcohol Ziji provided for our students to prevent virus transmission. During the flood disaster in 2018, Jai County suffered, and Ziji volunteers were there to deliver hot food and aid supplies immediately after. Afterwards, Siji also worked with the government to conduct free clinics and disaster relief networks so the public can regain their peace. Today, we're very glad to sign the MOU with Jai County targeting on the projects of disaster prevention, recycling, and improving the communities. The master is very concerned about the COVID-19 epidemic, so we bought 300 liters of tea tree alcohol to help our students with virus prevention. In the future, Tsiji and Jiayi government will collaborate on projects including charity, public health, disaster prevention, environmental protection, and humanistic culture programs to improve local residents' lives. Director Ye Jiazhou of Traditional Chinese Medicine Department at Daling Tsiji Hospital, together with Dr. Ye Mingxian, they jointly produced the antivirus herbal extract for the frontline medical staff and the volunteers to keep them safe while they stand firm on their positions to fight the virus and safeguard the patient's health. As the epidemic is spreading continuously, people have become agitated. Darling Tsiji Hospital invented a herbal extract for the frontline medical staff in the emergency room. I was quite happy when I received it because this epidemic is widespread and we are at the front line. However, he would think about us, so I feel warm and touched. It feels good when I use it. It doesn't feel dry or greasy. It is quite moisturizing and it doesn't affect our use of tools. The doctor steamed the herbs in low pressure at between 80 to 90 degrees Celsius to extract the ingredients and turn them into the antivirus herbal extract to fight against the coronavirus. Since the ancient time, the doctors often use a remedy called Huoshang Zhen Qi San to deal with the problems caused by the epidemics. Its main ingredients are the aromatic substances, so we made them into the herbal extract. The herbal extract can be used externally and also consumed. If you feel something wrong with your throat, you can add some antiviral herbal extract into your water and gurgle. It will reduce the inflammation and it can also calm your mind. The medical staff must take good care of themselves first, so they are able to face more challenges. Cai Shenzhen is the first Italian oil painting restorer in Taiwan. He studied fine art and traveled to Italy to learn this profession. It was difficult at first as he was not able to speak Italian, though he is now quite skilled and busy himself restoring many temple paintings in Taiwan. For him, his work provides the greatest possible satisfaction. Concentrating carefully on this painting, restoring the original color and look, is Cai Shenren, who may stand to do this work for more than seven or eight hours a day. Before us are two doors that stand in front of Wanhua's Longshan Temple. Cai is like a surgeon using the ultraviolet light and a knife to diagnose what happened to the antique works in front of him. When we get a large work coming in, we do a basic test. The most commonly used thing is ultraviolet light. As long as I examine it, I probably know where it needs to be repaired. 
差不多，边上又不够了。One day after graduating from Department of Fine Arts at Donghai University, he started to explore the idea of repairing some of the paintings at the school, which were moldy. After finishing military service, he decided to study abroad. 退伍之后。When working after finishing military service, I decided to go abroad to Italy to start as an apprentice in a college workshop. Tai started his dream job, though he couldn't speak a single word of Italian. Now that he was on his path, he became the first Italian Florence oil painting restorer in Taiwan. The flood related with New Orleans Hurricane Katrina destroyed an entire house, and smelly water rushed into garage and elsewhere, and the canvas sucked up all the dirt and mud. He restored an oil painting that was almost completely destroyed in the flood to its original appearance. Tsai's technique began to gain international recognition, and he was asked to go abroad to repair many famous paintings. After returning to Taiwan in 2010, he became a founding member of a team and set up a studio. In addition to repairing oil paintings, his most frequent commissions are temple doors. He hopes that his work can help preserve the work of these cultural monuments in Taiwan where he grew up. In addition to setting up a company, he also brought a new generation of students and teams to repair antiques both in Taiwan and abroad. He believes that the actual practice on real cases is the fastest way to learn. If I can work with my teacher to restore cultural relics, temples, or gods to its original state, this culture will be able to be passed to through our persistent efforts. In 2014, four door guard works drawn by well-known temple painter Pan Li Shui were repaired by him and his team. They were recognized by the International Symposium on Architectural Painting and Decorative Arts, which was published in Sweden. From the fine arts department of his university, he eventually gave up the brush and committed himself to restoring ancient artworks. The restoration process may be very long, but if not for the work of our parents who gave up their own career, famous work would disappear from the world. This work may be Tsai's biggest achievement and a career that he has stuck with for almost two decades. Australia Tsai Academy was about to begin a new semester at the beginning of February, but was delayed for two weeks due to the COVID-19 epidemic. To raise children's awareness on virus prevention, teachers taught them how to wash hands correctly, as well as encouraging parents to make vegetarian diet a family habit. We will leave you with these images, and thank you for joining us. Goodbye.